This is a quick guide on how to submit data for the recommendation for reclassification in Q. After Language Services has run the process, essentially step one, students will be identified as recommended for reclassification and a group will be created. To enter the data for the EL recommendation for reclassification, this can be done in Records Authorization app in Q. We'll go to Menu, Enrollment, and Records Authorization. Next, we want to find those students that have been identified. For this, we are going to uh, use the group that has been created for this purpose. Click on the Group filter and find the ELL recommended for reclass pending forms. Once that group has been entered in the filter, go ahead and click search. You'll notice that we now have six students that had been identified. To keep them as a group, you want to click on the group icon. It will turn colors to let you know that it's done. Then you can click on the first student. You'll notice that they're grouped together. When you are ready to enter data, make sure the, it is highlighted and click Edit. A special form will be displayed to enter the data about the recommendation. The highlighted fields are required and you will be able, unable to submit the form unless the highlighted fields have all been completed. In this first section, uh, it is default data and no need to change anything. The next section is the recommendation for reclassification. This area will look different depending on the grade level you are working with. You will also notice that how this form is built to pull existing data from uh, Q, such as the LPAC and the CAS. And if no data is available, there will be a message that will appear, uh, appear and will say no data available. You will need to enter the necessary data where needed. For example, here I will enter the English levels. Then you will enter your recommendation for this student based on the data above. In this case, we're going to go ahead and enter reclassified to FEBAR status. Under explanation, depending on the criteria in A or B, you will enter the explanation. For this specific student, student he did not meet all the criteria, but we are recommending him. So I will need to put an explanation. Your teacher signature is automatic and you do have to put a date. Then you review the data you have entered and you can go ahead and hit submit. And that information is now stored and has moved on to step two. You can use the arrows to move on to the next student in your group that's also recommended for reclassification. Another useful item is when you log into Q on your home page of Q, you will find a widget which also groups those students that have been identified for recommendation for reclassification. You can click on the student and it will take you right into records authorization. 